Yo, what is up, beautiful, beautiful people? How are you doing? Yeah, it's your boy here once again, Vicky Melody, and um, here to just show you how I did something. Like someone has been requesting over the years, like um, there are some stuff, some of the short um, covers I do on the channel, and um, someone has been asking me via my Instagram to show how I actually mix <coughs> that um, song. So there's this um, cover on the screen uh you could watch it later but i actually recorded that in cubase but i had to now recreate it in effort so that i could um, use my screen recorder to show you guys what i did because i couldn't record my cubase 10 anymore with my obs so i'm using a different screen recorder so i could show you how i did it so let's get back i just came back from church and i had to shoot this tutorial because i have a radio um something on the radio to do just immediately i leave here so let's head straight to the system let me show you guys what i did okay so um i'm going to show you how the voice how the mix sounds on the raw take then i'll show you what it sounds and the finished take then we'll now go from from there so this is how it sounds without any effect music they give me joy it they sweet me for my heart and so the beats they turn me on anytime when i'm sad in console music now that was um how it sounds without any effect that was actually me singing so uh so this is how it sounds with all the effects music they give me joy he they sweet me for my heart and so the beats they turn me on anytime when i'm sad in console music they give me joy nine they make me losing control when you they i had to point out this is actually not a live guitar it was um, a vst plugin that i used to play um this guitar sound that sounds like this sounds so live <clears throat> i had to show you guys what i used to play because you know i like to show you everything it's called agml2 it's a very very um it can emulate like live guitar but i actually have live guitars here that i play to get the live guitar feel but this will get you close <clears throat> this plugin here agml2 it will get you very close it's ample guitar light too sounds sounds very now back to our project i started the first thing i did was i had the vocals in their own channel then i now had to send i had two lead vocals because i had two takes so i i sent the both of them to a lead boss like you see this one going into the lead boss this going to the lead boss they're not going through the master like if you're using fl or any plugin any daw you could just do a route you see um maybe you want to send this to this guy he said route to this channel only so and in the master bus i had auto tune yes auto tune has come to stay but not in the robotic way i don't use it that way i used them um, the return speed of five the vocal was good but i had to now use the um auto tune i used auto tune for a certain color not for it to be like um, you know that you understand how auto tune makes a vocal cry but the main thing is sing on key perfectly but nobody sings 100 percent on if you if you hit a c note on a keyboard it is 100 percent c that's digital but no human being sings 100 percent c no human being on earth even michael jackson his producer at some point uses auto tune graph i've seen and uh, when they were explaining how they use the auto tune to pitch correct so it doesn't matter auto tune is not a bad thing so i had to set it to the right key and since i'm a male i had to use like um the auto tenor if you use like the soprano it's going to sound kind of too robotic that's what i found out for most guys it is auto and tenor then the key of the song then the the scale you know those those shit i'm not supposed to say shit this is the first time i'm saying shit on this channel man hope <laughs> youtube doesn't block me then i use them um, a humanized a humanized um i had to humanize it more to sound more human to remove it from the robotic um side 
and that was all that was what i did on the two um lead vocals and also on the backup track the same thing sending all of them to the lead boss i didn't want to do like um, a separate boss for backup and this is just a, um, a cover not like a professional song so on the lead boss i brought in my compressor i wanted to go for um um kind of like um the digital sorry more like the analog style of um compressors i didn't want to use like the graphical stuff i wanted wanted to compress and hear the compression for myself not like seeing what the compressor does although this will show you from the gain reduction meter what the compressor is doing so i, I had to now use a fast attack and um mix my release to blend if you're looking for a compression video you should check on the card on the channel you see compression video so i won't be going in depth in some of this stuff so subscribe right now because you know vicky melody drops amazing amazing stuff some people say i don't define too much <laughs> so but that's just it i use um a ratio of four four to one and that was it and i used basically waves plugin on this on this project basically everything like 98 percent was waves i love waves so much then the next thing i did was this my new love this eq is my new love after the five filter q3 this is my no after five filter and the parametric eq the stock plugin for fl studio this is my new baby man so uh, what i did was i did like a low cut like the high pass to cut off the lows to like 160 hope you could see 160 here then uh, i listened for the mid range like the low mid and i found out that 220 was kind of ooh, messing up my stuff so i had to like take it down to like minus 1.7 then in the mid range 1.6 has life in it i gave you like um, a 1.8 db boost then in the highs uh the mic was already um sounds good it's a road nt1a mic then it sounds good naturally so i didn't want to like give you like a so much high but i gave you like a 0 0.4 db boost on the 12k 12k 10k those those places sound dope on vocals so that was all for the eq and then i brought in my dsr you know you guys know what dsr is in case you don't know dsr takes out the s's s and t all those um harsh frequencies all those harsh frequencies you know they take it out and also there's something i had to mention uh, uh is an impression that I, i've always wanted to correct but i think it's right to point it out you are a young producer coming up and you watch most of these big guys um the people we look up to and they hold their microphones on their hand with no pop filter that's that that shit is crazy that it's it's wrong like it gives the mix engineer so much work the reason why pop filters are there is to remove the p p the p's and the b that come out come out with heavy air if you're watching this microphone i'm using has foams it is to reduce those b's and p's and also holding your mic on the hand that i am condenser microphones is not actually a good thing it's good to have you on a stand because blood flows through your hand and if you put your hands over your ears you hear like kind of sound those are movements of blood and your mic could easily pick them out although we could deal with those stuff with low cuts and the rest but it's not a nice thing to do so back to our tutorial subscribe now at the digital source <laughs> and if you have your mixes that you want me to handle just slide on my instagram and then we do business you understand so after that i now had to now add an eq around the 312 around that area it was kind of boxy for me then i took it out boom and that was it so i will do um a before and after then hear what it sounds like let me play a different section i feel the fire burning up in the sky i'm lonely take anything you want for me so that was without all these um plugins then with it so i feel the fire burning up in the sky i'm lonely take anything you want for me the vocal was now strong understand so and that was it and if you could listen carefully i don't, I don't know if you could hear it but you hear some white noise in in the mix 
is actually nice the, a plugin here that are analog model that trying to emulate those white noise from you know the desk sometimes those things add body to our um our mix sometimes they are not needed just like this compressor is adding like um, an analog um in the 60 hertz if i turn it off it's dead i don't know if you could hear but if i turn it off you hear small but i just needed it here because it's just a simple um there is no percussion there is no drum there's no kick it's just um um a light um, frequency spectrum so i needed every sound to just add up it's just like an idea i don't know if you understand where i'm trying to go but that's just it so after that i brought in my my delay and i used um a waves a wave plug a money delay and on the delay i added reverb that's one of the reasons i love this plugin you can on your delay signal you can add reverb distortion doubler phaser understand then i use like um one over eight notes then it was sounding so i feel the fire burning up in the sky i'm lonely and then from there i added a reverb now in songs like this since um they have a um, few instrumentals playing you need to fill up your frequency spectrum so that the mix will be balanced that's one thing you should have in the mind now reverbs and delays are used to add body and weight and room and atmosphere to a mix that has few percussions playing that's why if you listen to some of these um, foreign songs sometimes they use them um you, they add movement with delays and the rest of that but i just use them a delay uh <clears throat> from five filter the arrow reverb and i used them um, a preset called um, the concert hall amsterdam modern sometimes i'll tweak it to get my own sound but i just wanted to just use the preset sometimes the preset works sometimes it doesn't you tweak it to until it sounds good so i used it and it sounds give it the atmosphere so i feel the fire burning up in the sky i'm lonely now you could say that the reverb was too much <clears throat> in this particular kind of mix it can never be too much because the, the you just have only the guitar playing then you need more um ambient sound you know to fill up the whole frequency spectrum so we, without um without the reverb it sounds like it's lost so i feel the fire burning up in the sky i'm lonely sounds like the the vocal is just on its own it's not playing along with the instrumental but when i introduce the reverb you find that like it glues everything together and puts both the guitar and the vocal in one space like in one room so i feel the fire burning up in the sky i'm lonely take anything you want for me don't take my music for me oh so then i did um, a quick master uh i used them um, another analog model than plugging these are like a compressor i compressed it to tests you understand then i used um, another analog model eq the pure tech you should know this eq by now sounds dope then i used the five filter to do a little cut when i was adding some stuff that i didn't like and i used uh this is the latin five filter but i've changed it this is um l2 from waves you understand so any tutorial you want to see on the channel just hit me up on the comment section like comment subscribe you should be subscribed by now so see you guys on the next one then if you have your stuff that you want me to make some master for you or you have a project anywhere you are in the world just get to me Vicky melody i'm out of here